Hey there, I am back with another video and today we're gonna to be talking about some unique and interesting ways to showcase your decks in a really artistic fashion. I'm doing that with the help of a couple of friends of mine in the card uh, art community, I guess you'd call it. Uh, Brian, who creates fractal plaques, and Ryan, who creates deck cuts. Now, we've seen a few other deck cuts on my channel. There's a couple of other guys that do deck cuts. Ryan's actually fairly new to it. Uh, you can find him on Instagram at RB Studios. We're gonna see a little bit of his work here today. And then Brian creates these fractal plaques. And as far as I know, he's the first one to create these. So really excited to show these off to you guys. Uh, let's get right into it. We're gonna start out with the fractal plaques. Let's move the deck cut off to the side. We will get back to that in a second. Now let's take a look at this plaque. Now it starts out its life as just a piece of wood very simple kind of shaping to it to give it this plaque feel. Uh, but what's unique is this process to create this burned imagery on top. You'll see this amazing lightning bolt style pattern, a fractal pattern, and this is all burned into the wood. It's done using a process called Lichtenberg wood burning. Uh, it's a really dangerous process, so definitely a don't try this yourself at home moment, uh, but it's done by basically just applying a solution uh, to the wood itself to make it more conductive, applying a high voltage, very high voltage through this. And then as that voltage runs through the wood, it burns these unique and distinct patterns into it. It's absolutely hypnotic. If you get a chance to see one of these, like on a time-lapse video, uh, just amazing to watch that pattern burn its way through the wood. And this is just an example of the result that you get. Now, like a fingerprint, every single one of them is gonna be unique. The patterns that are in them are gonna be distinct from one plaque to the next. And that's one of the things I absolutely love about it. And if I zoom in here, you can really see just some of that finer detail, the amazing distinct patterns. I mean, look right here, just how fine those little lines are that spider out at the end. It creates just such a unique look overall to the plaque. Uh, once you apply a little bit of stain to this, it gives it just this absolutely wonderful look. Now it finishes out by applying four little magnets here on the side, and those are to hold in these carrot cases. So you guys have probably seen carrot cases before. Great way to hold your decks, just these clear plastic, like hard plastic cases. Very sturdy way to protect a deck. But if you take it apart, and you just take either the lid or the base, you can then put a deck inside and then just hold it in place right on the plaque. Gives you a great way to display a deck inside, uh, really just unique overall. Now that said, because it's just magnets, you can also do it using just the lid, right? I'm gonna turn it the right way. I think I can. Well, maybe. Oh, this one, there you go. So you can actually uh, put this on here and have it held flat. And what you can do with that uh, is you can actually put a single card in there, like this one. And imagine that's straight, but you can display single cards in here. You can display entire decks, but really cool touches to it overall. Uh, love the uniqueness of this fractal plaque. So if you're interested in this one, go check out Brian on Instagram. He's at fractal plaque. I'll put a link down in the description. Uh, definitely go check it out. Really affordable prices for these. He completes it out with the little bumpers on the bottom, a little hanger so you can hang this on your wall, even signs them for you so you get a, a little unique bit of the artist there. Uh, but just a really well put together package, one that I, I recommend for anybody. But that's just the plaque. Let's talk about what I'm personally putting in my plaque and that's this deck cut. Now, RB Studios, Ryan, relatively new to deck cuts. There's a few other guys that have done it, done this before. Uh, I featured Masuda Designs, another really talented deck cutter on the channel before. Uh, but this one is from Ryan and he has done just a phenomenal job. Uh, this deck started out its life looking like this, the Sins Corpus Players Edition. Just reviewed this deck on my channel uh, from Third Way Industries absolutely love everything about this deck but i think it really takes on a life of its own once it got into ryan's hands and he was able to transform it absolutely beautifully now the way this is done if you have never seen a deck cut basically what it does is take each individual card and cut it to create the layers if you look inside here you can kind of see those individual cards and how they're cut out individually so 
Here's a look at the back design of the car to begin with. And you can see how, you know, one layer, maybe he just cut out the ring here. Another layer, he cut out the star in the middle. And by cutting the successive layers and then stacking the cards back up, you can create these amazing 3D effects. So looking in there, just so much fine detail. And as you turn it, you can just see it from all different angles. On this one, one of the things I love is he made it a two-sided cut. And what I mean by that is there's a little back here as well. So he's cut a little opening into the tuck case of the Sins box, the tuck case here, and then allowed one of the cards to shine through. So here we have Eva, the one of the main characters of the deck, uh, and she gets showcased there in the center. Now I'm gonna open this up so you can see the cards themselves and one other cool little touch. Uh, so first off, let's very carefully pull these out. So I didn't glue these together, it just gives me a chance to see the entire process little by little. But you can see here what I mean by the individual card. So this might be what one card looks like. There's some that are much simpler cut. And then you get down and you'll see some that are cut much more intricately. And then you take those individuals, stack them up very carefully, and you can create those super unique and distinct patterns. Now it's definitely a finicky thing to have it here, you know, in this uncut form. Uh, but I really love what's going on with this one. Let's see if I can get this stacked back up very carefully. Uh, the other cool thing on this, here's the uh, the back part of the cut. So you can see where he's just cut Eve out there. And he actually cut three different versions. So I can actually swap this out, right? So if I want to, I can use Adam or I can use this snake here as extra little display pieces in the back. So if I just swap this out, let's say to put Adam there instead of Eve, let's get this really neatly stacked back up. Well, this is super finicky, but so satisfying to play around with. So there you go. There's my stack back in. I'll put it back into the tuck case. Really carefully slide it down. So you see, there's my design back on the uh, back here. So the main part of the cut. And then I get this carefully closed back up without messing the cards up. And then if I flip it over. So now instead of Eve, we have Adam showing through the back. So really cool touch. I think E is my favorite of the three, but I love the extra little opening and the extra mini piece of art, I'll call it, that you get on the back. So that's what I'm showing off in my fractal frame. Now, if you are interested in getting Ryan to cut into one of your decks, uh, he takes commissions. He has some other decks that he's lining up to cut. So go look for him. He's at underscore RB Studios on Instagram. Great guy to talk to in general. Uh, but if you're interested in one of his cuts, I know he would love to do one for you too. And so that's what I'm showing off. So hope you enjoy this one. Get a little closer look at one of those deck cuts and get a chance to see a really cool way to mount one of those or just a regular deck onto your wall using one of these fractal frames or fractal plaques, I should say. Uh, so if you want to check out either of these guys, like I said, I'll put the links down in the description for Brian at Fractal Plaques or Ryan at RB Studios. Uh, where you can get one of these for yourselves. Highly recommended. I don't regret for one minute getting these for myself. Uh, so that's it for now. Hope you enjoy this little artistic look at playing cards. Make sure to subscribe for more deck reviews and unboxings and let me know what else you want to see. And I'll see you for the next one.